I'm Katie Hall from United Healthcare Pro Cycling. Welcome to Vox Women. Coming up in this month's show, we bring you all the action from the World Championships. We celebrate Megan Garnier's career as the American announces her retirement. We take a look at the final four riders up for the Vox Women Sharon Laws Road Rider of the Year Award. We head to Spain for Madrid Challenge. But first, let's find out a little bit more about Liana Lippitt and Juliette Labou of Team Sunweb. The first time I saw Juliette, I think it was um, in Eibstedt. It was a Nation Cup in Germany. And we were both um, juniors in the second year. And that was the first time we were together in a breakaway. And it worked out really well because we were really strong on this day. And then, yeah, I was thinking, yeah, she's really strong. And I, but I never thought that we were going to be teammates and friends in the yeah. future. But yeah. Yeah, and also afterwards I learned, uh, so I already signed with the team. It was not, alway, it was not already online, but then uh, Hans, our director, told me, oh, you are going to have uh, one uh, opponent uh, in the race, in the Europeans, uh, that's going to be your teammate. Next day I was like, oh, who is? And, and then I know, <laughs> and then she won. <laughs> Actually, she can be like really just like positive all the time. And then uh, when she turns into racing, she's just like a monster and really, really smashing it. So. Us in racing, she knows every corner, she always says, now this one is coming, she still knows it. And that's really good, I really feel good with racing with her and I feel it gives me a bit of safe. Juliet is really a <laughs> smart girl and is studying Thanks. every day and yeah, she knows a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're more or less the same, yeah, I'd say. Yeah, so yeah. it's fair yeah. to put each other. I think so. Uh, that's so hard. That's really hard. Yeah. I also put you because yeah, yeah, we are humble. It also, also depends on the day, on the climb, on exactly. the shape. Yeah. That's clear. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> we know that. <laughs> what did you say? Yeah, you for uh, sure. Thanks. <laughs> That's so, so clear. Thank you. In the car, we always sing together. We both really good in singing. Yeah. yeah. What do you think? <laughs> everything, everything. Especially the 2000s. Like the 2000s. Yeah. <laughs> as long as we know it, yeah. we like if it. You can sing it, yeah. <laughs> Kisses. Oh yeah, from Dua Lipa. That's, that's our favorite new ones. song in the moment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we did a lot of karaoke, yeah, yeah. but I think the favorite one was from Adele. We oh yeah, I rocked that yeah. one year ago. And also Don't Stop Believing. So, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I also feel that one. <laughs> First time the WNT Madrid Challenge by La Vuelta was a two-day stage race after three years of a one-day race. 19 teams took to the start of stage one, a 12.6 kilometer team time trial on the outskirts of Madrid. In 30 degree heat, the teams encountered a tight and technical circuit. Wiggle High Five, one of the strongest teams in the field, looked relaxed at the start and soon settled in to their effort. The World Team Time Trial Champions Team Sunweb were led off by multiple world champion Ellen van Dijk, ready for a hot afternoon of racing. Mitchelton Scott with defending champion Yolene Dora in their ranks rolled down the ramp last. 
team somewhere were down to just four riders with 5k to go. The uphill section and technical twists and turns of the course taking their toll. Wiggle High Five finished in a time of 17 minutes 58. Team Sunweb stormed to the line 18 seconds quicker to take the hot seat. And Mitchelton Scott couldn't match the world champions and had to be content with third in a time of 18 minutes 26. Leah Kirchman took the leader's jersey. So after Team Sunweb triumphed in the team time trial, it was all to play for on day two. Yesterday was a bit tricky, the course. It was a lot of corners and quite fast and technical. Um, and it didn't go as planned, um, but yeah, we, f we feel good still. And um, there's one more week till Worlds, so everything is going to plan. And uh, yeah, today is not a chance to go for a victory. Yeah, it's always nice to come back to a race that you've won before. And uh, I like uh, racing in Madrid here. Um, we've got our, uh, our team here uh, for, the, for the roles next week for the TTT. So uh, all strong goals and uh, ready for a, for a strong lead out. I think it's actually going to be super unpredictable with all the sprint primes and people trying to mix up the GC a bit more than it already is. For the TTT, so uh, all strong goals and uh, ready for a, for a strong lead out. I think there a lot of sprinters here because everybody knows this will be a sprinter race uh, but yeah yeah I'm looking forward and our team is as well so for me it would have been fine if it was just one day <laughs> only the final but I think it's interesting with the seconds there's so many sprints in the way and yeah it can be really um, interesting yeah, it looks uh, like up and down for 100k so that will be um, a challenge a Madrid challenge the riders were ready to race the finishing circuit of the men's Vuelta España. 17 laps of a 5.9k circuit for 103 kilometers. Karun Rivera was very active in the opening intermediate sprint, taking the win as attacks began to fly. Emilia Farlin claimed the second intermediate sprint before a group of five riders formed a strong breakaway. Despite organization and cooperation, the peloton were active. Riders were soon caught on lap nine after mopping up some points on the sprints. Rosello Ratto of Silence Pro Cycling attacked on lap 10 and this proved the decisive move, eventually drawing out a group of 19 riders who would not be caught. Ellen van Dijk, Audrey Cordon Rago and Ilaria Sanguinetti contested the remaining intermediate sprints. Polish champion Malgozata Jasinska of Movistar team attacked from the break alongside Coralie de May of FDJ. Back in the peloton, Ale Cipollini were pulling for Chloe Hosking, but the gap remained steady. They were caught and it all came back together as Lottie Becker opened up her sprint first. Sarah Roy was on the German's wheel with former world champion Bronzini in the mix too. Bronzini saw a gap and launched the final sprint of her cycling career to take the win. I'm feeling really, really light in this moment. <laughs> I think to be in a cloud. And so I, I don't know, I'm so, so happy. And uh, finishing this way, I think, is the dream of everyone that finished the career, every rider. So I'm glad that I have done this. I'm proud for me and for my team.
I think is the best way to finish and I feel so light again and proud of uh, me and my team and this is for my family for the people that always believe on me for the best opponent and congrats me today and for my aunt that passed away in May. I was in the breakaway and uh, I just try to do my best doing the sprints for the bonifications and then not not riding obviously because I was waiting for, for Kirsten to do the sprint and then it went to the end so I had to sprint, I was fifth and uh, and basically I was I, I was not expecting to be on the podium but then counting the seconds I was on so it's super nice, super nice feeling. It was uh, so hard because uh, the name of the girls in front are uh, so big name, Bronzini, Brand, Van Dijk. And uh, I try to do all the possibilities that I have, and uh, yeah, for uh, in the final uh, win the point jersey, I'm very very happy. Yeah, the whole team should be there, but um, yeah, <laughs> actually the half of the team was there, so that's really good already. Yeah, it was um, a bit weird. I mean, the team tactics were weird to me. Like um, I think the chase in the peloton was not very organized. Um, and I think it was very surprisingly that the break stayed away in the end. So um, I never thought the break would stay away. And we were always planning to uh, to go for Corinne in the sprint. But yeah, that never happened. And then, um, yeah, uh, we didn't get the stage win today. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy, of course, to take the GC win here. So in the final race of her career, Italian Bronzini wins for Silence Pro Cycling with Roy finishing second for Mitchelton Scott, Lottie Becker third for High Tech Products. And overall, Ellen van Dijk of Team Sunweb takes the World Tour win, Rivera second, Cordon Rigaud third. The Vox Women's Sharon Laws Road Rider of the Year Award will be presented on Thursday the 1st of November at the prestigious Ruler Classic Show in London. The final four riders have now been selected and will face the fans' vote to decide the winner. For the first time, the award has been named in the memory of Sharon Laws, who worked for Vox Women and after a great cycling career, passed away at the end of 2017. The four riders are Anna van der Breggen, Corinne Rivera, Annemiek van Vleuten and Amanda Spratt. Don't go anywhere, join us again after the break. Hello, I'm Ashley moment Pesio and welcome back to the Vox Women Cycling Show. And so to the UCI Road World Championships in Austria and the women's time trial. The riders facing 27.7 kilometers on a beautiful autumn day. Some of the biggest names in the peloton were bidding for world glory, with all eyes firmly on the Dutch, Anna van der Breggen, Annemiek van Vleuten and Ellen van Dijk. Leah Kirchman set the fastest time before Ellen van Dijk sneaked in front to take the hot seat. Van der Breggen then eclipsed her teammate's time and it was just Annemiek van Vleuten who stood between her and a world time trial title. She makes her way into the last few metres. She's going to absolutely exterminate the time of Ander van der Breggen. A fantastic performance, Annemiek van But Van Vleuten was in imperious form and rode a near-perfect race to take the title by 29 seconds. Van der Breggen and Van Dijk rounded out the Dutch podium. There's not so many uh, winners that won ties uh, down to our championships and 
Yeah, I for sure had some pressure, but uh, especially as also the pressure last year, so it was not different. If you're here starting, you just want to win and win the jersey. As we come to the end of the 2018 season, one rider has called time on a 10-year career. In 2016, Megan Garnier was voted our first Vox Women Road Rider of the Year. Back then, she reflected on her career to date. Megan has always been a versatile rider. She could win one-day races and much more. In 2016, she won the Giro Rosa. And she ended that season as the first winner of the Women's World Tour. One of Megan Garnier's favourite moments was her third place in the World Championships in Richmond in front of her home crowd. Her final race was the World Road Championships in Innsbruck. We say goodbye to a great rider and wish her all the best in her future career. The World Road Race Championships were held in front of huge crowds in Innsbruck, Austria, on what was set to be a very tough race. 156 kilometers and over 2,000 meters of climbing, it was going to be a hard day in the saddle. Pre-race favorite Annemiek van Vleuten crashed with 95k to go, along with teammate Ellen van Dijk. But the strong duo from the Netherlands fought their way back to the peloton on the climb to the Innsbruck circuit. Early attacks from the likes of Lotta Lepisto, the Finnish champion, were soon brought back under control. Corinne Rivera attacked on the first ascent of the circuit, building up a 30-second lead. while Australian favourite Amanda Spratt crashed on the descent. Rivera's blistering surge of pace saw a strong group, including Van Dijk, Elena Peroni, Polish champion Jasinska, Swedish champion Emilia Fahlen, and Australian favourite Spratt join her with 50k to go. But the Dutch began to show their cards with 42k remaining. Van Vleuten tried to get away, but as that move was neutralized, it was the turn of Anna van der Breggen to show her strength. And this proved to be the move of the race. She quickly bridged the gap to the leaders and sailed straight past them, Rivera jumping straight onto the wheel alongside Spratt. But the American champion was unable to stick with the pace set by the duo, and a gap soon emerged. With one look over her shoulder, Van der Breggen could see that Spratt was on her limit. She got out of the saddle with another devastating attack, and Spratt could no longer keep with the pace being set by the Dutch woman, who has won Strada Bianche, Tour of Flanders, Flesh Wallon, and Liege Baston Liege this season. Anna van der Breggen was soon solo, with her gap increasing to almost a minute. Behind her, Spratt was chasing in second. Behind van der Breggen and Spratt, the fight was on for third place. And it was 2009 world champion Tatiana Goderzo who pushed on solo with 15k to go, looking for that spot on the podium.
but she was almost five minutes behind leader van der Breggen, who came to the finish line in Innsbruck with a huge advantage over Spratt. Cheered on by huge crowds, she crossed the line and raised her hands in the air as world champion. Spratt raced to the line for silver and looked delighted at the finish. And Gaderzo held on to her advantage to take the bronze for Italy. But it was all about Anna van der Breggen. I didn't know the time, I didn't know anything, but um, so I kept going until the finish line. And yeah, I think until the finish line, I only believed it, it was possible. So um, yeah, it's amazing. Because what was going on in your head on that lap where you were alone in the lead? You, you, you didn't know you were going to be a world champion? No. <laughs> uh, I had too many times this season already that, that it happened on the finish line that I got back. So I didn't know any time. Um, so I just keep on continuing and um, try to eat and drink it and go as fast as possible. So all smiles on the podium as Anna van der Breggen adds the rainbow stripes to her Palmaras. Spratt second, Gaderzo third, while Amelia Farlan won the sprint for fourth. What a sensational year it has been for women's cycling. That's it from the Vox Women Cycling Show. We'll be back again next year. But for now, we'll leave you with some of the highlights of a fantastic season of racing. <laughs>